Hey, this is Tim from Circuit Scribe. We are prototyping some new pens, so today we're going to try out two different pen designs on a bunch of different materials. Uh, this pen is spring loaded and it has a higher density of silver in the ink, but sort of a regular ball, so it should be relatively uniform. And this pen is more like a paint pen, so the whole pen is flexible plastic and you can squeeze the ink out of it and push the, when you push the tip in, the ink flows more. Today we are going to try these two different pens on a variety of different materials. This is our first material we're going to try, which is a PCB board. The ballpoint pen actually went on a lot easier than I expected, and you can see it made a nice, pretty crisp, clear line. The paint pen, um, I had to squeeze it pretty hard, but that also laid down a pretty thick line. Here we have a, just a normal piece of colored paper. The ballpoint pen made a very nice uniform line. With a squeezable pen, you can really lay down a lot of ink if you want. Here we have just a plank of wood. The spring pen, uh, again, laid down ink sort of surprisingly well and uniformly, although the paint pen really does give you a lot of control to squeeze stuff out. Now we're gonna try a piece of clear plastic. Both of those actually worked surprisingly well considering the plastic is so slick. The spring pen did a really good job of laying it down by itself. The, uh, the paint pen really needed to be squeezed quite a bit to get decent coverage. So with cardboard, both pens really lay down the ink very nicely. Now we're going to try paper with scotch tape laid over it so that we can see what happens with the transition between the two materials. Both of those pens went on quite well. The spring-loaded pen may have some slight gaps where it met the scotch tape, whereas the, uh, the squeezable pen I could squeeze more of the ink. The spring-loaded pen surprisingly wrote really well on all of the surfaces that we tried it on. The other pen, while it didn't go on evenly sort of out of the gate on all of the materials, um, in the applications where you would want to like sort of squeeze it thickly to make more of a paint, it worked really well. We hope you enjoyed our uh, test of our new pens that we're prototyping. Um, we'd also be interested in hearing what sorts of materials you'd like to write on yourself in Conductive Ink, fabric or whatever else. So uh, feel free to uh, leave comments in the comment section below. Thanks, so long.